All right, joined now by Austin Kaiser, Matt Minister, caddies for Xander, Patty Ice, winners at the Zurich. Congrats, guys. Thanks, Thank Joe. you. Hey, Austin, I'll start with you. The team finished 11th here last time. You guys ran it back again, and you've had so much success in the Ryder Cup, President's Cup 2, documented how good of friends they become, I guess. How much fun were you guys having out there as a team, on and off the course, and how did the familiarity pay off most? Uh, I mean, we play a lot of practice rounds together, so, I mean, we know each other very well. We're very good friends. You know, me and me and Matt like to joke around quite a bit on the course, and I think uh, definitely paid uh, a little bit of, you know, respects to what we were doing out there. But, um, you know, Xander and Pat, they play together a lot. You know, they're clearly really good friends. Um, all the team events we played together have definitely helped, you know, this week, and we're just out there having fun. You know, we're having team dinners and – and, you know, it was just a laid-back week. We didn't really have to, too much stress or anything, so. Revy, what was the best meal of the week then? I love the food there. That's my favorite one. Best meal of the week was team dinner at Rebirth. Unbelievable. Uh, best gumbo I've ever had. They had a double pork chop that was out of this world. Ribeye steak. Uh, finished off with uh, some bread pudding that was also the best I've ever had. Epic. Dude, well, hey, you guys – Rev, you found yourself in the mix again that two weeks in a row. You had the playoff with Spieth at Harbortown. A lot of nice momentum coming in. I bet it was nice to show up at a team event the next time out, seeing some familiar faces, I guess. Uh, what do you think? What makes, you know, these two and you and Austin such a formidable duo out there? I definitely think what Austin said, the fact that we play so many practice rounds together, um, we know each other so well. I mean, we're constantly kind of, busting each other's you know what's and having fun and, and it's you basically get so comfortable that you don't have to worry about stepping on anybody's toes you know nothing, nothing that we're going to say to each other um is going to bother so you know it's it's just really relaxed and you're you're comfortable you're not worried about what your partner's going to think if you hit a bad shot you already sure. know what he's think <laughs> yeah <laughs> well how, how does this win feel different you know i mean you've done the Ryder cup president's cup than the individual thing how's this one a little different you want it austin you want I'll me take it, I'll oh, take i'd it, like uh, to hear both of you guys yeah no it's uh, it's still a team win you know it's, it felt like a team event out there um you know it's still a win in our eyes and you know we didn't take it too lightly and it was a lighthearted week but we you know we still wanted to win we wanted to get to maui we wanted you know, we wanted that, that win on our resume. So we didn't take it, you know, too, uh, too lighthearted, but you know, it was, it was a fun week that, you know, we both prepared well for and they both played amazing. So. And that, that strange thing you get, obviously there's a purse, they get the FedEx cup points and we get to go to Maui again. So it, it is a win. It's a real win. Um, but it, it is a different feeling. It's a lot different stress than what I felt the week before trying to win at uh, the Heritage. Matt, I saw you unscrewing the flag on 18. They were interviewing the guys. How'd that go? I mean, did you pull seniority and then you send Austin swimming across the lake over to nine? Like, what happened with the flags? I'll be honest. I offered Austin the flag, and he must have uh, recognized seniority, and he said you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, respect your elders, you know. Uh, no, I, you know, it was – I just gave it to him. I was, I was going to get one regardless. So funny story is I go over to nine when the boys go and scoring and I, I'm unscrewing the one on nine all by myself. No one's around. And this guy starts hauling butt up in a cart and he's yelling at me. Hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? He goes, thanks for taking that off for me. Now you can give it back. And I'm like, whoa. He's, and then he kind of gets closer and I'm like, and he's kind of, you know, he's kind of hostile. And I was like, hey, we just won. Like, I just, I, I was going to go over to 17, but I thought this was a great opportunity to grab one. And then he just, you know, he gave me a big hug. And I congratulated him on how good the course was. The course was amazing. It was the best it's ever, I've ever seen it in the, the four years I've been there. So um, it was kind of a funny story. He came beelining it right at me. So he thought <laughs> I was some drunk dude stealing his flag. <laughs> Love it. Hey, well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it.